Chucky Schumer did an interview. Oh, good. <laughs> he spoke to that Anand guy. Um, so let me show you an interesting back and forth. Anand says, how would you rate Biden's first hundred days relative to Obama's looking at the rescue plan versus the stimulus in 2009 and beyond? Um, Schumer says, well, look, I don't just blame Obama. I could blame all of us, everybody. The, the Democrats made two mistakes in 2009 and 2010. We let Republicans dilute the bills so that we stayed in recession for four or five years. And then there's an editor's note that said, technically, we were out of the recession quicker, but it was still slow growth. Job growth was much too slow. And then we let them negotiate for a year and a half on the Affordable Care Act. And then they pulled out of the negotiations. We got something good done in the ACA, but it wasn't close to enough. We're not going to make either of those mistakes. So, this is what I find amazing. So, he says this, right? He says this at the exact same time they are making the same mistakes. They are. So, Listen, the $1.9 trillion COVID rescue plan, okay, happy it got through. It was definitely watered down. It was supposed to be $2,000 checks. It was $1,400 checks instead. Was, there was supposed to be $15 minimum wage in it. It wasn't in there. Everything is temporary. A one-shot of adrenaline, child tax credit, whatever. You name it, it's a one-shot of adrenaline. It is not, there's nothing recurring. So it's not building on a legacy like the New Deal, for example, or like Lyndon Johnson's War on Poverty. It's just a one shot. Okay. So that was the bill that everybody's really happy about and giving Biden credit for. And oh, you went bigger and bolder than Obama. It's true. That is bigger and bolder than Obama, but that's not saying much. That's like being the tallest kid in kindergarten. That's not really impressive. So then, okay, what are, what are we on to next? We're on to taxes and infrastructure. If they don't do anything with the filibuster or they don't give them, themselves more chances at reconciliation, none of this is going to get done. And so right now, nothing is getting done. There's no dialogue with the Republicans that's going to come to anything. So right now, we're just stonewalling, dragging our feet, letting the Republicans obstruct. Nothing's happening. And so you're doing the same thing that happened in 2009, 2010. But he has the nerve to go out there and say, we're not going to make those mistakes we actually are currently making right now. It's, it's unbelievable. So there's this new thing I, I realized recently. This is a new thing that the Democrats do. They'll say something, and it will just be so divorced from reality, it's a brazen lie like the Republicans do. But like, okay, another example. I just saw this the other day on Twitter. Joe Biden tweets, uh, healthcare, should be, healthcare is a human right, or healthcare should be a human right. It's not a privilege, it's a right. He's tweeting it. This is the same guy who implied that he would veto Medicare for all when he was directly asked. Homeboy, you can't, no, you can't do that. You can't say I'd veto Medicare for all and then tweet healthcare is a human right. The only way you get to healthcare being a human right is if you have a single payer Medicare for all system or some other universal system. He doesn't support any kind of universal healthcare. He even, he ran on the public option then backed off of that and just did expanding the Affordable Care Act. Behind the scenes, apparently, he's even dragging his feet. He might not even support uh, lowering the Medicare rates to 55 or 60. So you can't say healthcare is a human right, and then you, your policies reflect the exact opposite belief. You can't do that. But that's the new democratic thing that you do. Oh, healthcare is a human right. You don't support Medicare for all. I don't, I'll still say that healthcare is a human right, and then be in favor of whatever I want to be in favor of. I tweeted X, and that's what gets out there into the ether. And that's so people will like that. So in other words, there's the gaslighting and virtue signaling that is really in overdrive now where everybody who's a Democrat says the right things, but then in terms of how they act, it never matches the right things that they said. And now even Chuck Schumer's doing it. Oh, we're not going to make the mistakes of the Obama era that we are actually currently making right now as we speak. If you're not changing the number of reconciliations that you can do from whatever it is, two or three to ten or something... If you're not doing that, if you're not either abolishing the filibuster or reforming it back to the talking filibuster, then you are making the exact same mistakes. And you're going to water everything down massively, and then even then you probably won't get it passed. It, it's amazing. He's saying we're not going to do the thing that they are doing right now. I've never seen anything like it. There's the, there are two separate worlds, man. 
there's the Twitter world and the virtue signal world, and then there's the reality world. And the virtue signal world, all these politicians are on point. Biden's a firebrand progressive and Schumer's out there crusading for the left. And then the real world, they're doing Dickie McGee's acts. Not going to get any of their main priorities done. So, man, it's frustrating. Because they should at least be honest about what they're really doing. But they're not. They'll pretend like they're crusading for the right things. And then they'll make the same mistakes as the Obama era.